And we have six cities here. I think that like the most famous cities around the world, right? Which one is the one that uh, is the most interesting for you? Tell me, which, which one caught more your attention? We have Paris, New York, London, Bangkok, Hong Kong, and Dubai. Which one catches your attention the most? Mm -hmm. For me, it, mm -hmm. it is New York because uh, I, I've, I've, I know that uh, in that city is a, a, a lot of real mix of cultures. And uh, I think that it should be beautiful to admire all the uh, buildings there. Oh, yeah, the skyscrapers. And the, uh, the central park. Yeah, the skyscrapers and the central park. Yes, imagine the central park is so enormous right it is not big it is not huge it is enormous yes okay so so you choose new york okay what about you robert which one catches your attention the most i think the maybe london okay london why london uh discarding the the other places uh, oh, okay. Yes, because uh, I don't know. I I always wanted to to see the Big Ben's clock. Okay. And uh, I like the the accent that uh, people from England has. Okay. Yes, it is a, a very different accent from American accent, right? Sometimes. Yes. Uh, we when we watch movies we we used to identify it right yes. it is very noticeable they speak like like very the t they pronounce the t so strong or they don't pronounce it <laughs> sometimes they do it like a hundred percent or zero percent right they know how like the middle part okay like so London. when they say harry potter yeah they say harry <laughs> potter yes <laughs> And sometimes they say what instead of water. They don't pronounce the T. They are, they are very different, right? Okay, so London. What about you, Alejandra? Which is the city that catches your attention the most? Well, in my opinion, the most interesting city is Dubai. I consider that they have beautiful uh, buildings. Uh, their culture is very interesting and also uh, everything related with this type of culture catch my attention i don't i don't know the way um, um they were i think i i'm talking about the their clothes oh okay mm -hmm. the way they 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 get dressed mm -hmm. The way they mm. uh, they get dressed, uh, it's to me very interesting, and also um, one of the most interesting thing or one of the things I would like to do is ride a camel. A camel, okay, that might yes. be interesting, right? Yes, yes. You might have you ever rode a, a horse? A horse? Yes, I did. Okay, mm -hmm. so maybe it is like similar, but. With, with a little difference, maybe. Yes, because it's higher. It's higher than a horse. Oh, really? Yes, they they're higher. They're taller. Yes, oh. taller. Yes, they taller than a horse. Than a horse. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Well, I, I, I don't know that, like the dimensions of a camel. Mm -hmm. but, oh, well. Yes, but they are really tall. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So maybe ride a camel. That, that will be a really nice experience, Alejandra. And why are you interested yes. in, in their clothing? What, what is interesting about that? I don't know. Uh, well, in the case, in, in the woman, well, the woman use this and I consider that they, uh, she, they look uh, really mystery, I think is the way to oh, say it. Very mysterious. Mm -hmm mysterious yes uh, they look really mysterious and also because when i was 
I think 14 years old. I remember that I watched a um, series or I, how do you say novela? A novel or a soap opera. Uh, yes, a soap opera. I remember that I, I watched, I used to watch with my grandma a soap opera called El Clon and was a history related with this type of culture. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Clon? Yes, El Clon. And what was the, the, the soap opera about? I mean, why was it from, oh. from this culture? Uh, what's uh, the the soap opera was um, how do you film was filmed in Marrakesh? I I don't know how to say Morocco. Marocco. Morocco mm -hmm. was filmed in Morocco, and I remember that the history was was about a guy. Wait, it was a love history, but mm. the interesting thing was that um um science or how do you say scientifico i didn't remember a scientist scientist yeah. yes mm -hmm. a scientist uh, create in a in a hospital or i don't know in a laboratory a, a clone how do you say clone? oh yeah yeah clone a clone they create a clone from the from the guy and the girl a uh, one time a uh, look both at the same time and was a human clone clone mm -hmm. that's the thing the interesting so, so he encountered the real guy mm -hmm. <gasps> yes the clone and the real guy mm -hmm. there is a there is a movie from i don't know if, if you guys have watched it this movie is called gemini in spanish is genesis i believe it is with i with will smith is Project Gemini, I think it is the name. And it is the same, that that some scientists created a clone mm -hmm. from him and mm -hmm. he's like a hitman. Do you know a hitman? A hitman mm -hmm. is a person who kills by the men. Imagine I, someone tells this, this man, hey, kill this woman or kill this person. I am going to give you $10,000. Okay, that is a hitman. Mm -hmm. Someone who kills for money. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So he's a hitman and scientists create a clone. So that clone has to kill the original guy. Imagine. Sounds interesting as well. Yes, yes. It is, it is like like very interesting thing, right? To have it a clone. Mm -hmm. Yes, Frankie with Will Smith. It is that one, right? Project Gemini. I remember that 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 Will Smith stares and 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 is the main character of that movie. So yes, it is very interesting. Okay, so Dubai is the most interesting for you, Alejandra. What about yes, you? Yes, it Ronnie? is. What about you, Ronnie? What is the most interesting city for you? Uh, for me, the same as Guillermo would say, New York. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are some big companies in there. Uh, companies of technology, big banks. Okay. okay. The world business. Oh yeah, Times Square. Are there. Yes, yes. So you like New York because of the business. <laughs> yeah, but the, the city, I think the, the city is beautiful too. Yes, it's very beautiful, right? It, it is very contrasting to see among, when you are among the city, you just see skyscrapers and buildings wherever you see. But in the middle, the, what they call the lung of, of, of New York City, the, the, the Central Park, imagine being there. It is so big. I am very, I am very astonished by the by the distance of this of this park it is so big so imagine so yeah, yeah it is a beautiful city i would like to go to new york it will be so beautiful and the lights new york is the city that never sleeps right you can go out at any time that you want and you are always going to find something maybe something to buy something to do something to eat something to drink anything so you can have the life 
as you want. There is no like a like a watch or or a day to follow from seven to nine p.m. No, any any day, any hour can work for you, right? That would be really nice. Okay, thank you, Ronnie. Now let's see, Frankie. What about you, Frankie? Which is the city that catches your attention the most? I don't know, but I think <clears throat> Dubai. But okay. it's very hot. It is very, very hot. Oh yeah, <laughs> I imagine. But I don't know about Dubai. Um, but I think it it's beautiful. A lot of building. Um, I don't know. How do you say camellos? Camels. Camels. Yes. A lot of camels when they walk in the, uh, the in the desert, or, right? Desert, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we were talking. Like, uh, so many skyscrapers and so many beautiful skyscrapers. Because in New York we have skyscrapers, and in other cities, like as you can see in Hong Kong, in China, mm -hmm. you can see skyscrapers, but like like the regular style, the regular form, like like. Right, like rectangular, like a prism. But in the United States, you can see one right behind the, the, the second camel, the camel on the left, you can see a skyscraper that goes like this. Can you see it? It is like yes, the walls are like turning around, right? And they are very different. They are very modern. It is a, a very modern architecture. So that's very interesting. Imagine looking at buildings that you can never look. In, in, in many in many other countries, right? So yes, there, it might be really hot. <laughs> there are a lot of people with a lot of money in Dubai. Yes, that too. A lot of money. Money is like air in Dubai, right? Very, very they are, common. <laughs> they are very rich. Yes, they are very, very rich. They are wealthy. For running, yes. For running a lot of a lot of cars. Um, let's you. Uh, uh, I don't know how do you say luxurious. Luxurious. Luxury cars. Yes. Imagine even the police. I think that the police patrols are like Lamborghinis. Yeah. Imagine being chased by a Lamborghini. Oh my God! You don't even try to run away. Why <laughs> would you bother? <laughs> Imagine. I'll try. Oh, you will try. <laughs> yeah, maybe right. if you have a Lamborghini too, you can run away, and maybe you can get away um, with it. <laughs> okay, yes, because people in Dubai are very wealthy, right? They are not just rich; they are wealthy. It is like a a a, a bigger amount of money being wealthy, right? So yes, maybe we can go to Dubai sometime. Okay, and now let's see the last one, Denny. Hi, Denny. Which is the, the, the city that catches your attention the most? Maybe Bangkok in Thailand. Okay, why Bangkok, Danny? I'm always um, want to test uh, their food. Okay. For and living their life, uh, the, the street life in, in Thailand, in Bangkok. Okay, is there like a big life in Bangkok at night? Uh, the street life, uh, the is suppose the, the street life is very uh, uh, very exciting. I imagine. No, varia. Okay, it varies. That's very really nice. So, like go going to clubs and, and going out, things like those? Yes, uh, people from the world uh, traveling in Bangkok and eating food in the street and um, dancing in the pubs. Yeah. I see that you like to party, Danny. Uh, maybe. 
but I love the 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 form where is their live inside okay. their lifestyles, right? Okay, yeah. and maybe if you go to Thailand, you catch that lifestyle, right? After you're going to be like a person from there, right? Okay, pretty nice. So now let's see, I have some facts. Let's see, there we have them. I have some facts about these cities, but you have to guess which city is which, okay? So which fact goes to which city? So if you, maybe you know it, or maybe you can guess it, okay? Using your logic, you can guess which one is it. So remember, we have Paris, Bangkok, New York, Hong Kong, Dubai, and London, okay? So let's see, Robert, can you help me read the first three statements that we have, please? One, two, and three. An annual festival of monkeys is celebrated in this city. Uh, two, it was called Lutetia, Lutetia. Yeah, Three. Oh, Lutetia. Mm -hmm. Lutetia. Mm -hmm. Three, it is called home by more than 8 million people. Okay, thank you. Ronnie, can you help me read four, five, and six, please? It's more than 35,000 temples are built in the city. It is considered the smallest city in its, in its country. And six, the number four is not pronounced in the city. Okay, thank you. Alejandra, can you help me read seven, eight, and nine, please? It is called Cupid. It's not the way to pronounce it. Occupied. Occupied by more than 80 mil billionaires. 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 Yes. Uh, the world's uh, the world's tallest building was built in the city. More than uh, 800 languages are spoken in this city. Okay, thank you. And Guillermo, can you help me read the last one, please? Yes. Uh, alcohol is not consumed under the age of 21. Cantonese is spoken the most in this city. At least three replicas of the Statue of Liberty are located in this city. Okay, thank you. So tell me, which one do you think is, which is the city for, for statement number one? An annual festival of monkeys is celebrated in this city. Which one do you think? Hong Kong. China. Hong Kong, China. Mm, no, it is not Hong Kong. I consider that is um, Bangkok. Dubai. Okay. Dubai is another one. So yes, it is in Bangkok, Thailand. Um, okay. We guess the first one. Let's see. I am going to see if I can do like a little arrow from here. Okay. What about number two? It was Paris. called Lutetia. Okay, that was really fast. Yes. Yeah, that, that's the name on, on Latin. And yeah, Lutetia and Parisium, I guess, was called the name on Latin. And then you they start calling Lutetia, but in French, like with the C. But yeah, it, it I guess it's the name of, on, on Latin, Latin, I guess, how you say that. Yes. Yes, so it is the origin, the original word in Latin, right? In Lutetia. Okay, that was really nice, Guillermo. What about number three? It was called, it is called home by more than 8 million people. That's a lot of people, 8 million people. Maybe Hong Kong. Mm, it is not Hong Kong. No. New York or Hong Kong. <laughs> Okay, yes, it is New York. In this case, it is New York. A lot of people live in China, yes. But in this case, 
it is New York. Imagine how many people, more than a million people in one city, not in a country, in a city, imagine. Okay, now we have number four. More than 35,000 temples were built in this city. Bangkok? Yes, it is Bangkok. Nice. Let's see this one, right? Okay, really nice. Now we have number five. It is considered the smallest city in its country. Dubai. Uh, no, it is not Hong Dubai. Kong? No, it is not Hong Kong. Which one? London, England. Yes, it is London in England. London is the smallest city in England. Okay, nice. Now, the number four is not pronounced in this city. They have a very logic reason. They don't pronounce. The number four is not pronounced in this city. Hong Kong. Dubai. Yes, in Hong Kong. Do you it's know? By superstitious, by a superstitious yeah. thing that yes. they have. Yes. Do you know why? Or why? Mm. What is the, the the superstition here? I, I just remember that they don't like to say the uh, couple number fourteen and twenty four, or I don't remember it well. Yes. Yeah, I hear about it, but I don't know why exactly. I just remember that they don't like the number four because it's matched or something like that with 14 and 24. I, I don't remember. They, yes. Because of the, the numbers of fortune or something like that, I don't remember it very well. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is because the pronunciation of four is very similar to the pronunciation of death. Like death, right? So they are very superstitious and very sensitive of pronouncing the number four, so they don't pronounce it, okay? Because maybe they can mispronounce the number four and they pronounce death. And that like brings something bad to their lives, right? So that's why they don't pronounce uh, any number that has a four in there, that the pronunciation of the four is similar to that. Imagine a superstition. And even in, in buildings, they don't, they don't have the fourth floor. They have the third floor and then the fifth floor. It is, I mean, you can one, two, three, four, but the name of the floor, it is not fourth floor because of this superstition too. Imagine that's a big superstition for a whole country in China. <laughs> okay, now let's see number seven. It is Dubai. occupied Dubai. by more than 80 billionaires. It is not Dubai. No. No, I knew you were going to. to New York. Dubai. Which one? New York. Mm, no. It is not New York either. Hong Kong. No, nope, it's not Hong Kong. London. Yes, it is London. Imagine such a small city and more than 80 billionaires live there. Imagine it is it is better to go to London than to go to, to Dubai, maybe, because you can find billionaires in London. Okay, what about number eight? The world's tallest building was built in this city. New York. Dubai. Okay, Dubai. Yes, it is Dubai. Which is the name of the of this building, Frankie? Do you remember? Um, uh, no, I don't remember the name. I don't it's remember. Very exotic. Yeah. It's very ex exotic, the building, but I don't remember the name. Actually, yes. The shape of this building is like, it has like a little piece and then it comes smaller and smaller and smaller. And then at the very top, it has like a little piece, right? The name of this building is Burj Khalifa. Oh, it is God. so big. It is the it is the, the, the tallest building in the world. Imagine, in Dubai, right? That's a lot of money in there. Okay, now number nine. 
more than 800 languages are spoken in this city. New York. 800 languages. Yes, nice. It is in New York. Remember that in New York, there are more, more than 8 million people. So all of these people speak more than 800 languages. That's a lot. Imagine trying to talk with someone on the streets. You don't know which language they speak. And you're like, what? I don't understand. <laughs> I have heard that the New York, uh, how, how do you name the, the New York people? <laughs> New York yes. keys. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know that. Well, in Spanish it's New Yorkinos, but in English, yes. I don't know. But well, the, the people that, that live in New yeah. York, I have New heard Yorkers. that mm -hmm. New Yorkers, the mm -hmm. New Yorkers, uh, they speak like um, um, yelling, but at the end <laughs> of the, the phrases, oh, really? they, like the last word, yeah, like with an accent, oh, really? but only the, the New Yorkers. I didn't know that. Imagine yes. so many people talking to you, like screaming, you're like. Why are you angry? <laughs> and yeah, but, but if you tell them that they are talking like that, they get offended. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it, is, it is like when you told when you tell someone from Guatemala that they that they speak <laughs> like like we say cantadito, they are mm. like you too. Because <laughs> once I went to Guatemala with my sister and we were in a restaurant and we were talking and the waiter said you're from El Salvador right we were like yes how do you know because you speak cantadito and, <laughs> and we were like you speak cantadito and then they have like they they identify people from El Salvador as we identify people from Guatemala so yeah some people get offended and some people yes. are like more extreme with these things right more exaggerated so yeah, and I, I didn't know that they spoke like that. That's very interesting. <laughs> yes. like yelling at the end. <laughs> okay, let's see number 10. Alcohol is not consumed under the age of 21. Uh, that, that could be New York too, because the legal age to drink alcohol in the United States, all, all the states are is 21. So that should be New York. It could be New York, yes, but which is another city that has this one? Because yes, in the United States, you're supposed, like in El Salvador, right, that we are not supposed to drink until 21. Yeah, they ask a lot for an ID in the United States, everywhere you go to buy something. Yes, yes. because they have like liquor stores, not yeah, like, yeah. like in another country that in La Tiendita, they sell everything, right? And you just ask for it and they give it to you. They are not asking you for IDs. Yes, yeah. it could be New York, but which is another city? Mm -hmm. London? No, it is not Dubai. London. Dubai. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yes. Yes, in Dubai. You must you must be 21 years old to drink to legally drink alcohol. Maybe if you are with your friends in the house and they give you and nobody's seeing you, like in Salvador and other countries, right? You do it. Okay, what about number 11? Cantonese is spoken the most in this city. Hong Which one? Hong Kong? Yes, Hong Kong, nice. Imagine the majority of people speak Cantonese in Hong Kong. And what about number 12? At least three replicas of the Statue of Liberty are located in this city. Paris? Yes, in Paris. Imagine, do you know why Paris has this statue? Do you know, Robert is like, <laughs> yes, they have this statue. I am going to investigate later why they have them because there is no apparent reason, but there must be a reason for them to have three, not only one, three stations of liberty. Okay, so those are some facts about these cities, okay? 
So yesterday I was telling you that we were going to continue with the passive voice, right? And there is something that we must know. Remember that in the passive voice, the subject is the thing that is receiving the action of the verb, okay? And we use passive voice when we want to talk in that way. So how do we, how do we say when we know who is doing the action, okay? Because I can say, um, this building was uh, designed in 2010. I don't know who designed it, okay? I don't know the person, the man, the woman, the firm, maybe a group of architects. I don't know who designed, who designed it. I just know that it was designed in a specific year. But what happens if I know who did the action? Imagine I say, this building was designed by Fran Jerry. Fran Jerry is an architect. Like he created the Disney hall and he created a lot, he designed it a lot. So I can say, by Fran Jerry. Now I know and I am specifying, I am expressing who did the action. That's what we are going to learn today, okay? How to say when we know who did the action or who does the action. So we have some examples, okay? Ronnie, can you help me read the first example in the active voice, please? The Beatles wrote a hard day's night. Okay, we know who did the action. Who did the action? The Beatles. The Beatles. Okay, and what is the passive voice for that, Robert? A Hard Day's Night was written by the Beatles. Okay, so you see, we know who did the action. The action was done by the Beatles. So we, we say by and the name of the tour. As simple as that. But we have another example. Let's see, Alejandra, what is the active voice for this example? Yes, Alejandra. Sorry, I was in mute. I was talking in mute. Okay, okay. don't worry. Spielberg directed the movie E.T. Okay. And Passive Voice, the movie E.T. was directed by Spielberg. Okay, thank you. So in this case, in the active voice, we know who did the action of directing the movie E.T. So the actor, of this action is Spielberg, Steven Spielberg. So in the passive voice, we say by Spielberg because he did the action, okay? And we have one last example. Danny, can you help me read the active voice for this example, please? Um, this house was built by my father. Okay, the active voice, the one above. Yes, the active voice. My father uh, built this house. Okay, yes, my father built this house. And what is the passive voice, Guillermo? This house was built my, by my father. Yes, so since we know that my father did the action, we say by my father, okay? It is very simple. Any questions, people? Tell me if you have any question or a comment. It is pretty easy, right? So let's see, we have some practices. Oh, and something that we must learn are adjectives to refer to some things, okay? Remember that um, we have adjectives which end in ed and adjectives which end in ing, okay? So when do we use which? That's what we're going to see right now, okay? I am going to share with you a link for a video. I don't share the video because uh, I know that probably it won't work. <laughs> so it is better for me to give you the link so we don't lose 
time. Okay, so here's the link on the chat. There you have it. I am going to give you the time of the video for you to see it, and then we come back. Okay.
Okay, I think that we all finished, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. So there we have the difference. Um, Guillermo, which is the difference between adjectives when in ed and adjectives which end in ing? Okay, so what I understand is you use adjectives with ed when you are uh, expressing how you feel or how the subject feels. And when you use, you use adjective with ing, when you are expressing uh, uh, the object or an option that make this, the subject or you feels in one way. Okay, yes, pretty nice. So that is the difference, right? Between adjectives in ed and adjectives in ing, okay? So now we're going to go to a practice. Let's see. Let me stop sharing so I can share this one. Okay, so there we have them. We have to unscramble the words, okay? So tell me, we have to put in order every word. You can spell the word, the letter, letter by letter for me, or you can tell me the word. Romeo and Juliet was written by Shakespeare. Okay. That was really fast. Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Was written with, why do we say was? Robert. Uh because uh, it's in passive. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what do you think? Because. Because it's just Romeo and Juliet. They're two yes, persons. But it's referring only to, uh, to the, the novel. Oh, yes, that is why. Because we are talking about the book, Romeo yes. and Juliet. Okay, very nice. It was a, a little bit confusing, but you solved it. Okay, <laughs> next one. You can tell me letter by letter or the first word. Coffee is grown in Brazil. Okay, really nice. Coffee is grown. Let's see. My God, I didn't do this. Okay, it is grown in Brazil. Okay. Like the best coffee from Colombia, right? Such a delicious coffee. Okay. Next one. What is this one? Glass is made from sand. Okay, yes. Glass is made from sand. Okay, pretty nice. These are, I think we have, we have seen only um, um, irregular verbs. Did you see them written, grown? Made only only regulars. What about this one? This is there are some long words. Titanic was created by James Cameron. James. Oh. No, yes. <laughs> James. James Cameron. Cameron, yeah. Is it Cameron? <laughs> Come. Okay. Oh, I think you told me created. Oh, it is not created. Directed. Okay, let's see. Directed. Oh yes, directed by James, James Camera. Okay, I was watching a video which was taking all the wrong things that were in the movie Titanic that they say that Leo 
the, 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 the Jack's character is like a time traveler or something like that. It was very interesting. Okay, what about this one? Right is like how like oh rice oh I didn't see it <laughs> uh huh rice is you told me right mm -hmm. eaten okay is eaten uh huh in China okay yes. We have some clues sometimes when we when we get a capital letter, right? It gives us like like the clue with the one that the word starts. Okay, let's see this phrase. What do we have? The Mona Lisa was painted by Da Vinci. Okay. The Mona Lisa. Was painted, you tell me, right? Do you know the size of the Mona Lisa? Mona Lisa is, is very small. I thought it was like a big painting, but no, it is really small. I I was I was always wrong. I was going to die full. Okay. By Da Vinci. Okay, we have a long sentence too. Coca Cola is produced in the USA. Okay. Coca Cola is produced to you, Tommy, right? Oh, my God. Okay. In the United States. Okay, that's very nice. Next one. Bread is made from uh With, 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 with. It, wheat. With. How do you spell wheat? W H mm -hmm. E A T. Okay, he gave it to you. Okay, wheat. Yeah, do you know wheat? No. It is three. It... Mm -hmm. Yes. So bread is made of wheat. Okay, this is really long. This is the longest that we've had. The Great Wall of China. Is... Okay, or Amazing Great Wall of China. <laughs> hmm. Is visited. Okay. By, by thousands of tourists. Thousands. By, you told me? Thousands. Thousands, right? Okay. Oh, tourists. Okay, that's really nice. Number 10. French is spoken in Canada. Okay, really nice. Very quick. French is spoken in Canada. In Canada, yes. Okay, almost the last one. 
number 11. Penicillin? Okay. Was. Discovered. It. What? Discovered. Ah, oh, yeah. Discovered by Alexander Fleming. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't understand the, the word you're telling me. What's what? Discovered. Oh, discovered. I, I'm sorry. I, yes. I listen like very, very lagged. And I, I was trying to understand. Okay, discovered. Bye. Alexander Fleming. Okay, yes, by Alexander Fleming. Okay, and now, yes, the last one. The World Cup is. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> held so please held oh yes it is held every four Every years yeah four years okay nice the world cup is held every four years okay so you see we had this time we had some very uh different verbs right some verbs that we didn't have before like grown um written uh, we have directed discovered right verbs that maybe we don't use that much they are not so commonly used right okay pretty nice now we're going to continue with the next activity okay for this one i am going to send you the link okay here in the chat, you're going to have the link for this one. You just have to complete. You have to take the adjective they give you, which is between parentheses, and answer with this adjective if it ends in ed or if it ends in ing, okay? Read the whole question and then decide if it is in ed or ing, okay? You tell me when you finish. Okay, thank you. Who else finished? Finished. Okay, thank you. I finished. 
Okay, that was really fast from you. What about the rest? Anne, Frankie, and Danny, did you finish? I'm finished. Okay. No, yes. Okay. I'm finished. Okay, thank you. Now let's see, in order of appearance in my screen, Ronnie, tell me number one, please. Uh, my sister had an, an exciting day. She won the singing contest. Okay, really nice. Exciting, right? Perfect. Robert. Number two. Raul never feels disgusted eating all that junk food. Yes, disgusted, right? Like, oh, maybe that much. Okay. Alejandra, number three, please. Okay. School, school lunches can be, can sometimes be disgusting. Yes, perfect, disgusting. Really nice. Guillermo, number four, please. Mike feels frustrated anytime he, his computer box. Yes, anytime his computer box or his computer stops working, right? Okay, really nice. Frankie, number five. Uh, <clears throat> Sam had, had an ex exhausting day after 20, 25 kilometers hike. Okay. Sam had an exhausting day. Okay. Danny, number six. Daniel is a little worried after a meeting with his boss. Okay. Do we say worried or worrying? Worrying. Okay. This is the way in which he feels. So which one do we use for the way, you see? To say how people feel, we use? Worried. Yes, we use ED. So how do we say, Danny? Uh, I worrying. I think with, it's my position, but I but I say worry with. Do you say with ED or ING? ING. Okay, it is with ED. Okay, because it is the way in which Daniel feels okay uh, yeah i think that that in the exercise um would make like a run like uh the word is run oh you wrote worried i ed and it was wrong yeah okay maybe you misspelled it we spell word like this with i not with y we say worried. Yeah. Yeah. yeah maybe, maybe that was the, the, the confusion. But yes, we say worried. ED, because it's the way in which Daniel feels. Okay? Okay. Very nice. Um, Ronnie, number seven, please. Seven, Sandy, Sandy was so tired after three hours of hard work. Okay, yes, tired, nice. Robert, number eight, please. We were disappointed after two weeks under the rain during our holidays. Yes, imagine going camping and it is raining the whole time. Oh my God, you were, you were going to be so disappointed. Okay, Ali, number nine, please. Paul feels embarrassed. Embarrassed, I know how to pronounce it. Embarrassed. Okay, we say embarrassed. Embarrassed mm -hmm. with the at the end, right? Yes. Uh, Paul feels embarrassed when he is in front of the class. Okay, yes. The way in which Paul feels. Paul feels embarrassed. Okay. And the last one, Guillermo, number 10. That film was so scary that Paul couldn't sleep the whole night. Yes, 
That film was so scary, okay? What the thing or person makes us feel scary. Okay, that was really nice. So people, do you have any questions about this topic? The uses of, of by in the passive voice. Remember that we can have in present and in the past. Any question or doubt or comment, opinion? Yes, Ali? Everything was clear in my case. Oh, okay, thank you. Any questions or no questions? No questions. My question is about that. But teacher, mm -hmm. yes, I tell me. Continue with the test. Yes, I know. I asked and they haven't answered. But yeah. as soon as they answer, I am going to tell you. Okay? Don't worry for that. I know that you cannot continue. That's why you 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 are not doing the other activities. Don't worry for that. When we when we solve that problem, you can continue, okay? And I'm going to tell. You. Don't worry for that. But thank you for 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 asking, Ronnie. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for being responsible. Okay, if there is no other question, people, we are going to see each other tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much for coming to the class, for participating, and for giving your opinions about the cities. Okay? Thank you very much, people. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Good night.